Moving on to the more serious offences of dismissals and misconduct charges. Dismissals first. As they arise, you will be given the opportunity to be able to acknowledge the dismissals. The vast majority of cases you will acknowledge, not want to submit a claim, and you will be able to manage the fixtures for which the player will use to serve those suspensions. As time moves forward and we link to full time, the system will assist you and update those suspensions automatically as fixtures change. So occasionally you will want to lodge a claim either for mistaken identity or a wrongful dismissal where you believe that the referee has made an obvious error. You can do that online. And in addition, you can upload any evidence that you wish to be used in your claim for a wrongful dismissal. Here, we're going to acknowledge a dismissal. The record can be accepted in the same way as the caution records. And once into that particular case, you'll be able to see details of the player and indeed the sending off. I can, at this stage, add any matches that the player will use to serve the suspension. In addition, if I wish and I am in time within the regulations, I can lodge a claim either for mistaken identity or a wrongful dismissal claim. In this particular instance, I simply want to acknowledge the dismissal. In the same way as cautions, I have to accept that the fine and admin fee will be charged against our next invoice simply by selecting OK. Throughout the system, whether it's for cautions, sendings off or misconduct, I can access the letters that you would have received in the past in the post by selecting the view print letter icon. Here you'll be able to get a copy of the relevant letter that you previously received in the post. Turning to the more serious matter of misconduct charges, when they arise, as with the dismissals, you will have the ability to deal with all of the administration online. You can submit your response to the charges, whether you accept or deny the charge, whether you wish to be dealt with by correspondence only or by the attendance of a personal hearing. All of that can be submitted online. You will also be able to upload any evidence that you wish to be submitted to the panel when considering the misconduct charges. Again, all of this saves time, effort and money. You will be notified of the details of the hearing, the venue, and you will be able to confirm your attendance at those hearings. And at the end of it, the result, you will receive that online. Very occasionally, you will wish to exercise your right to appeal the decision of the County Football Association directly to the Football Association. Again, that will be able to be completed online. In this particular session, I want to look at acknowledging a misconduct charge. In the same way as cautions and sendings off, I can select a record by choosing one of the items from the outstanding cases. This will take me into that particular charge. Here, I need to select whether or not the player is pleading guilty or not guilty to the charge. In this particular instance, I'm going to select not guilty and I then need to confirm whether or not the player requests a personal hearing or a non-personal hearing. In this particular instance, he is selecting a personal hearing. 